Hey coders, welcome back to my channel. So if you're new, please click subscribe and if you're a regular, welcome back. So in this video, I'll be doing top 10 advice to all junior developers out there. So first one, embrace failure. I know, I don't know if I'm the only one who experienced this, but you experience a lot of mistakes and we, we tend to think that that equates to us being not good enough, um, not smart enough, not in the right field, and it somehow brings the imposter syndrome. So when you do embrace, embrace failure and realize that, hey, mistakes happen and I can only learn from this, you know, then you get better. You get your confidence back because you know what, you know what, I, I am going to fail. I am going to struggle. There are some things that I won't know but it's not the end of the world you know it's not that i'm not good enough you know two seek feedback if you are at a workplace go to your team lead go to your manager ask how you're doing how you're progressing because you might think think you're on the right track whereas you're not and then it comes to having yearly appraisals and then you realize that and then you get scored low because or you get told that you don't do A, B, and C without realizing that you could have improved on that throughout the year. So in order to avoid getting scored low, seek feedback throughout the year to improve yourself to be better. Third one, learn beyond code. Learn soft skills. Learn working in a team. There are a lot of things that a lot of people need to work on, especially people that are good in code. I feel like they lack soft skills. You find that when you ask for help, they will just come to your desk, try to take over, not even ask what, what you're struggling with. And I think people don't realize that you need to continuously learn, not only with code, because I feel like when you know code, you feel like you're done no you need to know your soft skills learn to work work with other people be able to explain to the next person you know number four documentation matters oh my gosh i can't stress this enough i don't know if this is for junior days or to companies <laughs> can there be documentation it makes work so much easier hey i hate documentation but getting code where there's documentation it makes life so much easier just write clean code just write comments have documentation so you make it easier for the next person and yourself because you find people who've been working at a place for like 10 years and the code was written by them you ask them for help because it's nowhere and they don't even remember because they didn't document it anyway <laughs> so documentation matters prioritize time management like it makes things so much easier it'll make sense with my ninth point and then number six don't fear asking questions always ask questions i know and i know i know i'm the worst person to give advice about this but it's really important <laughs> I know this because I struggle. I struggle with asking questions. I struggle with asking for help. And I later on, because I feel like, no, if I ask this question, it might be a stupid question. Like stupid questions don't exist. There's no stupid question in software engineering. You know, even if you ask for uh, like, how do you write an if statement, they might make jokes, but you get help at the end of the day, you know? I struggle to ask questions and then I spend so much time trying to figure out something that I could have asked and then you find that I spent so much time trying to figure this out. Now I'm busy on this ticket and spend so much time. It's gonna be weird that I've been working on this for so long and I was stuck on this and then now it becomes more harder to ask questions because it's like why have you been sitting with this problem for so long so ask questions stay curious i mean technology is always evolving 
we are now asking ourselves what is happening with AI? What is happening with AI? What is happening with our careers? Where will we be in like the next five years? So you need to stay curious. You need to evolve with technology. Number eight, network. I always advocate for hackathons. Those are the best places for me personally to network, to meet different people in the same industry. Nine is prioritize self-care. This goes hand in hand with um, prioritizing time management um, if you prioritize your time properly you can know it's okay I can finish these tasks in this time and then you don't spend so much time working and even out outside of your hours because you will end up burning out and burnout is real so if you don't prioritize your time properly it's either you're gonna lack at work or you're gonna sacrifice your self-care self-care is important you need to rest you need to stay away from the pc you know we all struggle we all wear glasses okay i've been wearing glasses for god knows how long for more than 20 years actually i've been wearing glasses for more than 20 years anyway that's besides the point so you need to give your eyes a break go outside take care of yourself do the things other things that you love you can't love because there are people who are like, must do something out of code, besides coding. Okay. Oh, some people are gamers. I don't know, man, but prioritize self-care. And then last but not least, believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Imposter syndrome is something that I think happens to everyone. But at the end of the day, you need to know, Guti you can do this i always say when when things get tough i always say now that we have ai and i need to change my phrase it's a robot computer and an artificial brain hmm? <laughs> emotional intelligence. But I always tell myself that I include So you need to find it in yourself to believe in yourself. Like no matter what, you can do it. And I know, I know, I know, I know. Imposter syndrome is really, really a thing, especially in this industry. But I swear, if at the end of all your thoughts you ended with believing in yourself, it will change your world. So those are the 10 points. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give this video a thumbs up. Comment down be below more advice if you do have advice and if you've been in the industry for so long. And I'm thinking of creating a community to network, Discord channel somewhere. I don't know. Let me know what you think. And do subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed. Guys, subscribe. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye.